to the K-pop industry. I know a lot of people are very interested about like how the industry works. I know it's yeah. probably very different from how it is now and back then. But I'd like to hear more about like what you experienced and like how that it was back in 2011. To get onto music shows, like, was there like a specific process or did like your company just deal with that? Or like, did the music show companies come to you to bring you on the show? Or like, how does that work? So the idols have, they don't have anything to do with that. Okay. It's strictly the company gets you the gigs and you go on it. Maybe if you're like really, really, really popular, um, the music shows might ask you to come on the show, right? Oh. Or like stay on longer or like, you know, because it brings in views. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, generally, it, the idols have nothing to do with what shows you book. Oh, okay. So you were lucky enough to go on to like shows like Inkigayo, Music Core, Music Bank, Eminent Countdown. Are there any interesting stories? Like, have you met, like, a lot of people? Like, how is it, like, behind the stage and stuff like that? Um, behind the stage. All right, I'm sorry. I'm, like, it's, like, a long time ago. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. No, session. don't worry. Take your time. I'm trying to, like, get back <laughs> in the zone, right? People you meet, met, or, like, how they acted. Like, I know, it's, like, the entertainment industry is definitely not, like, all sparkles and, like, rainbows and stuff like that. And, like, yeah. it's a very huge topic nowadays, so... Yeah, so I haven't I haven't really met anybody that was really rude. You know, okay. how they talk about that, like, oh, she looks so rude. Or she yeah, rude. yeah. I haven't met anybody that's really rude, but that's mainly because if you're popular enough to be rude, you usually don't talk to people like me, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... It was, it's pretty, it's, I want to say it's pretty, like, if, okay, so, you know your place when you're back there. Yes. Right? I don't know if that really makes sense, but, like, you know your place, right? Whether you're super popular or you're just like me, like, everyone has their own place, and, like, you know what you can do and what you can't do and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so that kind of generally sets the tone, and, you know, you younger people like me like newer groups they go around to other people's um waiting rooms to offer free cds to like oh. the elder debuts like for example uh like who is it oh, i can't remember it was like someone right someone who had debuted earlier than me we go to them we bow we say hi we give them our cd and it's that kind of thing you know it's kind of like a tradition you have you go around and it's like respectful a, yes yeah yeah it's respectful and it's kind of just like an image thing right like you have to look good oh okay people do that and even like pop some popular um popular idols will go around doing that too just oh for really like, wow okay. yeah interesting um, so like you get to like kind of like introduce yourself and just kind of interact here and there type of thing yeah yeah um, like um, mm, yeah if there's a reason to like that that was a reason to say hi and to like introduce yourself right mm -hmm. but yeah I w you wouldn't normally just go to some like like it like girls generation right I wouldn't just randomly go to them and be like, hi, oh my god, I love your song, I'm such a big fan, you've been out since I was like five, like, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. Like, you just know your place. Oh, and okay. More than the idols, like, the staff are so rude. <laughs> I am not surprised, actually. They're they Yeah, like, very... the staff is so rude. Like, I get that, you know, they have their job to do. They yeah. have to make money. Like, I get it so rude oh my god i heard that there's actually uh i've seen some like former idols saying like um like how the staff like they'll treat like rookie groups and like popular groups very differently like so different really wow yeah, no, there was a time we were on um i don't remember the show name oh show champion yeah we were on that and uh, i don't remember i think it was for syndrome okay um so brand new but we were we were pre there's like they pick certain groups to pre record the the their stages right yeah. so that if there's like they can like make the flow of the show like better and stuff and we were one of those groups that day and I kept slipping and falling because oh. they had like the the stage prior to ours did bubbles or like uh what's the thing 
They know, like, the like, air that shoots out. Yeah, yeah. They didn't clean that <laughs> they, up, or? Yeah, they just, they did that, and the floor was really slippery, and I kept falling, oh right? Oh, my gosh. Um, but, you know, like, I just kept, like, kept getting up and finished the song and kept doing it. We, I think we did it three times, and I fell every single time. Oh, my God. But nobody said nothing. It just kept going on, and I was like, whatever, you know, it's fine. Like, I'm, my wrist is only, like, maybe broken, but it's okay. It wasn't broken. I'm over exaggerating. Oh, my. Um, <laughs> but then, you know, if it were to have been, like, a different group then and someone had fallen, then, you know, they would kind of stop. Maybe maybe they finished the song, but they stop. They let the idol go down, get checked out, make sure they're okay. Whoa! You know? So there's kind of like a double standard type of thing, and depending on like your popularity, right? For sure. Like if you're not popular, if you have nothing behind your name, like just who are you even, right? Oh, wow. So this topic is kind of like controversial. So slave contracts, right? Are easy, are very controversial. Everybody are. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Everybody's very um, touchy about the subject, and they're very controversial because of the unfair terms. So, did you face like the type of unfair terms on your type of contract? Like, what were some like rules that you had to follow and stuff like that? Like, was it very strict? Because I know bigger companies, they're like very, very strict with their contracts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, if I can, I can only speak from my experience, mm -hmm. right? So what we weren't allowed to do was obviously no dating. Yeah. Um, like in the beginning, they took our phones away. Mm -hmm. um, they monitored our phone calls with our families. Wow, really? Yeah, we didn't really, we weren't really allowed to venture out by ourselves too on off days. Like, okay, like eventually towards like, the end they would let us but like you know in the beginning every like we had a manager living with us right a female manager so she watched our every move whatever we ate yeah um no phones no dating can't do this can't eat that just really you you like really lose a sense of who you are because like you don't feel like you anymore because you're just doing whatever you're told to do. Yeah. And like people are telling you what you can and can't do, what you can eat, what you can't eat. Mm -hmm. You know, they're telling you how much you have to weigh or like what you have to wear or like what you, like what you post on like your group in like Twitter. Like I think that's the funniest thing when I see like these videos on YouTube about like people talking about oh my god this song like this group song is about life it's so deep this person saying like you know this idol is say telling us to like enjoy life and I'm just like but that idol probably didn't even write that song <laughs> probably only heard that song like a month ago like that idol has no say yeah. in like what they're singing you know like back then it was very different you were kind of like given everything on a play and you were just able yeah. to do it, right? Yeah. Also well, now, so mm, so I can so when you listen to songs, you can kind of tell if like it's been like pre-produced and they just gave it to you, or like if it's actually been like you wrote it, right? Like you can kind of tell. And even I mean, even back then, like they, I know some people got opportunities to write their own lyrics or like like rappers mainly, right? Yeah. Like I know. Block BZ go like I know. Yeah. He writes his own lyrics. Yeah. And I know like a guy from a different group like edits the songs or writes their own beats, you know. Uh huh. But ultimately, it's not like just because they write it and they like it. It's not like they can just like here you go, right? Yeah. Like it still has to go through like the chain of command. Um. But, you know, maybe you're right. Like, it could be different. It has been, like, over seven years yeah. since I've been in the industry. So it could be completely different now. So being a former K-pop idol yourself, why do you think these companies implement such strict rules on their trainees or, like, idols and stuff like that? Why don't you guys get any individuality or, like, kind of keep on – hold on to, like, yourself? Like, why do they – like, it's very different from Western culture and K-pop mm -hmm. culture. Like, it's, like, everybody in Western um, culture, obviously, they have more 
of an individuality to them. But like yeah. in K-pop, it's just like it's being monitored. Everything is created by the company. Why do you think like yeah. they do this? They have this type of structure in K-pop. I feel like I can say this because I'm Korean. <laughs> um, I feel like Korea has a very like set standard of what they like. Right? They do. Like, yeah. What's, what's popular, what's going to be good and like how things should be. Like if you want to be popular, this is what you got to do. Right. And so if. Like, you know, if you divert from that even a little, everybody starts freaking out, right? And it could either be a good reaction or, like, a bad reaction, mm-hmm. right? And I think that's part of the reason why the company is so, like, on top of everything. Because yeah. they need to make sure that you're perceived well by the by the public, right? They they Like, the company has a set image for everybody, right? Like, when we became a group, it was like, oh, Melanie, you're the youngest, so you're going to be the cutesy type one. And, like, you know, you, you're the oldest, so you're going to be, like, the mature, sexy one. Like, you know, like, everyone gets, like, an image, and yeah. you need to kind of uphold that image. Like, what's that one group? Um, mm, uh, you know that one? Ah, 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 Momoland. Momoland. Yeah, her. Julie, you know yes, Julie, yes. That does that, like... Yeah, 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 that, <laughs> the pigtails, yeah. <laughs> She, I mean, everyone thought she was so cute, and she is, right? She is, But, yeah. like, now, that's just kind of her thing. Yeah. You know? Like, her commercials that she shot was all, like, cute and funny, right? Yeah. That's just, like, her thing, because it worked for her, and she's popular. So yeah. now that's just, she can try to divert from that, but, like, that's probably just going to be, like... What she's known she, for, basically. Exactly. And that's just kind of a thing. And honestly, like, career, like you know, the K-pop industry is just... Um, so you probably went in a little bit of this already, but what were some difficulties that you faced being a K-pop idol? Um, like in general or from like the public? Just, like, or- just in general, I guess, like anything that kind of like made you kind of rethink your decision and everything, like... I don't want to, I don't want, like, I wouldn't say, like, directly, like, do you regret it? Or, like, is it something that if you were to go back, would you experience it again? Like, that type of thing. It's more just, like, like, I know you, by, like, some point, you were just, like, no, like, no more, right? But, like, (laughs) but was, like, there any influence into that decision? Like, I know, like, obviously waiting a long time and just, like, not being able to achieve the results that your company wanted like did that like kind of be was an obstacle for you like what was difficult for you like training Um, wise even like okay um well all that that I mentioned Mm -hmm. just kind of like baby stuff right it's I mean it sucked but like it kind of came with deal right like you kind of knew what you were getting yourself into with Mm -hmm. all of that but, like, what I couldn't handle was just, like, them trying to, like, I had, like, an identity crisis at, like, 15, right? Like, yeah. they were trying to turn me into, like, this completely different person. Like, you you brought me in because you wanted a biracial person. You know, you wanted a half American, half Korean person. Well, here I am, but why are you trying to make me look full Korean? Why are you trying to make me speak only Korean? Like, why do you think I'm going to gain weight just because I'm not full? Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, they cut my bangs. They cut my hair short to make me look more Asian. You know, they would always make me go to get skincare to, like, light, get, like, you know, brightening serums yeah. and shit like that. Oh. Um, that, toward, like, that, I was just so confused, right? Because I grew up in a Western family like, in the Western culture, and now, like, you know, I don't even know who I am anymore, like, I, I'm, I know I'm half Korean and half American, but, like, I'm living this, like, this, is like, really weird, I don't know how to explain it, I feel like no one should tell, like, a 14, 15 year old that they're too fat, or that, you know, yeah. you, that, you know, they, they're, like, control what they're eating, or, like, you know, I don't know, it just, it just blew my mind that, the K-pop culture think that's okay. Like, it's okay to tell people that you're too fat. Or it's okay to tell people that 
you need to go get surgery because you don't look like what people will like, you know? Yeah. Like, it just blows my mind that that's okay in that culture. Like, how is belittling people and, like, talking down to people okay? Yeah. yeah. You know? Like, why is that? Just because it's in the culture doesn't mean it's okay. Like, does nobody see a problem with this? Mm-hmm. Like, that's just all these things, like, started building up, and I started thinking about them more, and, like, it was just making me feel, re- like, really bad about myself, right? Like, hardcore depression. I was seeing, a, like, a counselor once a week, every Wednesday, um, during Black Tinkerbell. I, like, fucking, you could see it in my face when I was on stage. I didn't want to be there, like, and, like, constantly just... I just couldn't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I was not dealing and with it. And you were well. so young as well. Like, I can't even imagine being like 14, 15 and being facing all those pressures of society. Like, yeah. would you, like, I know there are a lot of younger people who really want to go into the K pop industry, whether it's like they're from like outside Korea or they're in Korea and stuff like that. Like, a lot of people still audition like I know like a bunch of people who still go to like global auditions and stuff like that hoping to you know become a trainee but like you know I feel like a lot of people don't really what they don't really realize is that how like tough it can be and like the things you actually have to give up and stuff like that like are there any tips that you could give these people to like kind of survive or like what would you recommend to these um, aspiring, like, trainees? Um, I would just say, like, beware of the culture shock, mm-hmm. right? Because it's so different from, like, any other Western, like, culture. It's yeah. really different, right? Like, there's, like, the respect level and, like, the things you have to do, not just in the K-pop, but just being, like, in Korea in general, It's just really different. So if you're planning on doing that, trying to be in K-pop, going to Korea, just be aware, like, the culture shock is different. I mean, not different. It's real. (laughs) Okay. Um, And, you know, like you said, just be aware that it's tough. Like, you can't just quit just because you want to, you know? Like, once you sign that contract, like, it's done. Like, you can't go anywhere. You can't do nothing. Yeah. Really, really pick and choose what company you're going to go to, right? Because your company can make or break you, Yeah, you know? So, like, really pick and choose. Just because some company says, oh, yeah, I'll have you, don't just take it, right? Do your research, look around. That's so important because don't get a shitty-ass company like I did. (laughs) (laughs) I'm pretty interested to see, like, what it would be like right now. Like, has it changed at all? Has it gotten any better? Is it the same? Did it get worse? I think personally I think it got worse only because of how big K-pop is now like it's That's like, true. it's not it only be... like in Korea it's huge I'm like assuming it got a lot more competitive right oh and yeah since BTS definitely became like this worldwide thing I'm pretty sure that's what everyone's aiming for now yeah right? like honestly I never thought BTS would get that big. <laughs> Honestly, when I first met them, I was just like, oh, who are these little fellas? <laughs> they were so little, like, literally. Well, because that and, like, I debuted before them. Yeah, they so, did, like, yeah, you, yeah. Even if you debut, like, a month before someone, you still have to be like, oh, I'm going yeah, to yeah. somebody, right? Yeah. So, like, by the time I hit, like, one more day, I was like, I'm like – all of your guys' seniors. Like, it's like, you bow down to me. You bow to me, you know? So, the final question is, what do you like about being a K-pop idol? And what did... Well, we already kind of talked about what you did not like. So, let's talk about more positive things. What did you like about being a K-pop idol? Um, <laughs> if there is anything. I'm just kidding. Um, I want to say it was like a, a shitty situation but a positive experience in the end, right? Because it taught me a lot. I kind of had to grow up pretty fast because of it. And, you know, it taught me a lot of lessons early on. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that I'm thankful for. And obviously, it's like a once-in-a-lifetime experience, right? I can tell my grandkids one day, hey, you want to hear this bop? <laughs> it's me. Um, I'm really grateful I did get to do it. It's just 
you know, I wish I would have handled it better. I was able to handle it better. Um, and then I think positive, I really liked being, um, that so many like foreigners like looked up to our group, right? Mm -hmm. Because I guess they felt like it gave them hope, right? They're like, oh, these foreign, like they're like not full Korean, they're foreigners, halfies, they're on Kripa. I don't know, I got a lot of those, right? Like, oh, I've never seen like a foreign K-pop star, like that I really am interested, you know? Yeah. I guess it felt good to like give people something like that to look up to, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And, you know, just the fans, fans were, you know, I was always, I always liked my fans, obviously. That's good. That's good. That's all I basically have to ask you. Um, is there any last words that you would like to say to people who I are I feel watching? like I'm on death row. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just um, Last words. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have that much tea to spill. That is totally fine. Like, honestly, it was just, this video is just more for people who want to get an insight insider view on yeah. like the k-pop industry and i'm sure a lot of like your fans are probably like what happened to chocolate right like where's well, melanie if i have any left they probably hate me <laughs> <laughs> girl, girl I like, no i highly doubt it this interview, i was like why nobody likes me anymore no one no. even knows who are I you kidding am. me yeah if you want to be in k-pop do your research and oh my god go easy on like the k-pop stars they're probably exhausted and so tired and they're just trying to catch a break you know like don't don't be making videos about why genie is lazy like maybe she's having a rough freaking day you know like just take it easy on those guys and like Hey. <laughs> it's yeah. really nice to talk to you about this topic. Thank you for agreeing to sit you down too. and talk with me. Um, we'll keep in touch. Okay, well, I hope awesome. you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, you too. You were so sweet. Thank you. It was like an honor to talk to you. Like, why? <laughs> girl, like, you don't even understand. Like, 